Hello. And welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the world around you. In today's video, we're going to learn about the body's command center. The nervous system. Before we begin, can you guess how many neurons we have in our brain? Keep watching to get the answer. Let's start learning. The human body is really amazing. A lot of things take place automatically without us thinking about it. That's because of the nervous system, which consists of the brain, and nerves throughout our body. The nervous system sends signals all over, that enable us to move, to think, and for our body to perform functions like breathing, and digestion. To name some examples, you can think of the nervous system as a vast communication system between the brain and the rest of the body. It communicates with the endocrine system to maintain balance in the body. This is called homeostasis. And it also connects us to our external and internal environments through sensors. For example, nerves in the skin can feel exterior temperature. This will alert the brain to make your body sweat, if you're hot. Or to shiver and get goose skin, if you're cold. Other senses include the ability to hear. To see. To taste. To smell. And to feel. Internally, when you exercise, for example, your muscles need more oxygen so they can work. So, the nerves send signals to the brain, which then makes you breathe faster for more oxygen makes your heart beat faster to pump more blood and to sweat so that you don't overheat the nervous system has many other amazing functions such as helping us balance and coordinate our movements to repair damage fight infections and even things like growing and aging so how does it all work the nervous system has two parts these are called the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system each is made up of billions of neurons and nerve cells that connect with each other to send and receive impulses. The most important parts of the central nervous system are the brain and the spinal cord. The brain is the main command center that sends out signals of how the body should respond to something. The spinal cord acts like a superhighway that allows signals to travel to and from the brain and the rest of the body. While we can think of the nervous system like wiring, there are no wires in the body. Instead, there are neurons and nerves to carry signals. In the same way that wiring has insulation to prevent short circuits, nerves and neurons have a coating called the myelin sheath. Now for the peripheral nervous system. The word peripheral means edge. So the peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that branch out from the spinal cord to all the parts of our body. Like our organs, arms, legs, fingers, and toes. The peripheral nervous system is split into two parts. The first is the somatic nervous system. This is the system that governs all our voluntary motions, like kicking a ball or chewing our food. The second part is the autonomic nervous system. Like the name suggests, these are automatic things that we can't control, like our heartbeat, digestion, or even a reflex knee jerk. Let's now look at the anatomy of the nervous system to better understand how it works. A nerve cell is called a neuron. It is the basic unit of the nervous system. A neuron has a star-like structure and a long stem. The stem is called the axon. And the tiny branches that come off of it are called dendrites. These many branches allow for many connections with other neurons to be made. The dendrites receive stimulation from muscles, glands, or organs. And send the signals down the axon. The electrical signal is then transformed into a chemical signal called a neurotransmitter, at the end of the axon. Which is called the axon terminal. The chemical signal is then transferred to the synapse, which is a gap between the last axon, and the tip of a dendrite of a new neuron. In this way, neurotransmitters carry a signal until they're converted back into an electrical impulse which allows a response to take place. There are many illnesses and disorders associated with the nervous system. Damage to the nerves can cause numbness, pins and needles sensations, or even pain. In cases of serious nerve injury, like a car accident, the chain of signals is broken, and paralysis can occur. Or, if the nerves have been starved of oxygen, like during a stroke, they can die. Patients can have difficulty walking or speaking afterwards. There are many diseases that affect the nervous system, like multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease, where the nervous system gradually deteriorates. This is why it's important to take good care of your nervous system. Exercise keeps the signal system working well. And a healthy diet helps the body to repair and replace damaged neurons and nerves. Potassium, found in beans, broccoli, and bananas. As well as calcium, found in dairy products, and green leafy vegetables, are important for the nervous system to work properly. All the different kinds of vitamin B are very important for ensuring that the right messages are sent at the right moment. 
These can be found in green vegetables, beans, meat, and dairy, to name some. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. The human brain has around 86 billion neurons, all crammed into a space about the size of two fists. Laid out, the surface area of your brain would be the size of two pages of a newspaper. Try scrunch up a newspaper and see how many folds and creases it has, just like your brain. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun and fact-filled worksheets on all the different systems and organs of the human body. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.